Today I'm reviewing the Vatic Pro Flash. I have the 16 millimeter variant. It comes in a 14 millimeter variant. I've been playing with this paddle for about three months now, so I'm excited to tell you about it. The surface of the Vatic Pro Flash is made of raw Torre T700 carbon fiber. It's got thermoformed edges and a unibody construction. And there's foam injected in the walls for an increased sweet spot. The average weight for the 16 millimeter version is 8 to 8.2 ounces. And the average weight for the 14 millimeter version is 7.8 to 8 ounces. The total length of the paddle comes in at 16.3 inches and the width of the paddle comes in at 7.7 inches. The grip circumference is 4.125 inches and the grip length is 5.3 inches, which is great for two-handed backhands. The grip has polyurethane inserts and the core is made of optimized C7 polymers. The core thickness, of course, 14 or 16 millimeters and the edge guard is made of anti-abrasion TPU. All right, so let's talk about the pop and power of this paddle first. Balls come off this paddle very nicely. It's very responsive, and I'm really impressed with the power of this paddle. I moved from a Gearbox CX-14H, which was a 14 millimeter paddle, big time control paddle, to this paddle, and man, did I really have to adjust my game in order to get more control. It took a few games, actually it took a few weeks for me really to get to the point where I could uh, confidently dink the ball, but man, my put away power is there, which I didn't have with my gearbox. So moving on to spin and control. Well, it's raw carbon fiber so it generates a lot of spin. It's not a stinking ugly amount of spin that I've seen with some other people's paddles, but man, I can really put some curves on this ball. I've actually managed to even uh, serve balls around an opponent that's um, crowding the center line on the other team. So I wish I had some footage of that, but Man, I can get some serious spin with this. Now, as far as control, I was really surprised at the um, lack of control with this 16 millimeter model. Vatic says that the 16 millimeter model is supposed to be for control, but holy moly, it took me a while to dial it in. Maybe it's because I just wasn't used to a paddle with this kind of power, but once dialed in, um, yeah, I, it, I can really get some great control with it. I have seen other reviews of the 14 millimeter model and people actually say that they have more control with the 14 millimeter than the 16 millimeter model. So until I get one of those, we'll have to see, but once dialed in, the control is there and I think that this raw surface helps because the ball is biting and staying on the paddle longer. So weight and speed. The specifications say that this thing comes in between 8 and 8.2 ounces. I did not weigh this originally, but I have two overgrips on this and it weighs 8.4 ounces right now. And I think, I think it came in at like 8.2 when I got it. I got one of the heavier ones, 8.1, 8.2. But the weight does not at all affect the speed of this paddle. This is, for its size, a quite fast paddle. Again, is it as fast as a gearbox? No, absolutely not. But I think the shape helps it and the fact that so much of the weight now, because of the overgrips, is down more towards the handle, it feels a lot faster in my hand than it did when it originally got to me. So let's talk about the grip and the appearance. The grip is nice and long, it's over five inches, so you can get those two-handed backhands in. Um, additionally, the four and one and quarter inches, I like my grips bigger, so as I mentioned, it's double over-wrapped, and this you know, gets it to a, a comfortable size. 
I think overwrapping the paddle actually helped with the control because now I'm not squeezing down on the paddle as much. And the overall appearance I like. I would have liked to have seen a grip tape that matched the orange in the logo or even if the um, edge guard matched the logo. That would have made it look super awesome. I've seen some people put some orange electrical tape around the edges of this paddle. Um, even if this band here that holds the uh, grip on had been orange, that would have been cool too. I like the touch here on the bottom with the end cap. And let me show you the case. The case is really sweet too. I like the way that it looks. Um, it's easy to find in my bag. I mean, besides the fact that I put a purple grip around it, uh, but really looks cool. And I, I, I like the way that it looks. So let's talk about durability and some of the other features of this paddle. Uh, first of all, the warranty is only three months. I'd like to see a one-year warranty on this paddle, but given its price point, I understand why there's not a one-year warranty. We'll get to that in a moment. As far as durability, this thing is a tank. It's a beast. I smashed it into other paddles. I've hit it into, the, into fences, not intentionally on either one of those. I've dropped the paddle and there's no buzz. Nothing feels loose. It still feels as solid as when I first got it. All right, my air conditioner just came on, but I need to finish this video. <laughs> so if you hear some buzzing in the background, I apologize. Price and value. This is $140. Uh, they make a prism version of this paddle that's less, but for $140 for a quality paddle like this, I don't think you can go wrong. I think this is in just the right spot, right value for someone who is looking for a better paddle and a paddle that's going to last them a while. Who is this paddle for? I think you need to be at least a 3-0 player if you want to use this paddle. This is not for a beginner. Low intermediate to advanced players are really going to be able to take advantage of this paddle. If you're looking for more power, you want to get this paddle. And I think also if you're just looking for a paddle that's going to last you a while, that you're not going to have to return or, find, or buy another one, this is going to be a good paddle for you. Final thoughts. I absolutely dig this paddle. It is my go-to paddle when I play. I still go back to my gearbox every once in a while if I'm feeling a little bit too punchy, but man, this is a great paddle. I have really, really enjoyed playing with it. I enjoy the power that I get out of it. I'm putting away balls that I couldn't put away before with this paddle. And with the carbon fiber face, I'm getting a lot of really nice spin off the ball. And it's helping me place the ball nicely and put a nice shape on my shots. So I've got an affiliate link below that I think will get you 10% off. I don't remember uh, fully what the price is, but if you would use that link, I'd greatly appreciate it because that kicks something back to me. That would be super, super awesome. So until next time, I'm John, your Gen X grandpa. And uh, yeah, go get yourself a Vatic Pro. If you're an intermediate player, you won't regret it. All right, bye.